The phrase flare up is used in a wide variety of healthcare contexts and in the OET exam. So make sure you know how to use it. Let's go. Hello, I'm Jo from Specialist Language Courses. We are OET premium preparation providers. If you're studying for your OET, you've come to the right place. Before we jump into today's video, make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel. And if you haven't already, check out our website. We've got loads of things to help you pass your exam. Let's go. Flare up can be used as a noun. For example, I'm having a really bad flare up of my eczema at the moment. It is a countable noun, so takes the article when singular. Flare up can also be used as a verb. For example, my eczema has flared up this week. We use a hyphen for the noun form, but not for the verb. But what does it mean? As a noun, it usually means a worsening or sudden increase of a situation or medical condition. And as a verb, it means to return or get worse. Notice the pronunciation. We pronounce it as flare up with the stress on flare when it's used as a noun. The vowel sound, air, sounds the same as in hair, air or care. When a verb, we tend to stress both words flare up. Notice how the words connect here. Flared up, flared up. Sounds also connect when in present simple form. Flare up, flare up. Notice how the r sound joins the a uh sound of up. Flare up, flare up. Look at these sentences. Decide if the highlighted words are nouns or verbs. And here are the answers. The ones on the left are verbs and the other two are nouns. Let's take a look at when and how to use flare up. Flare up in a medical context is usually used in connection with medical conditions such as eczema, acne, arthritis, anxiety, etc. Usually it's used with episodic conditions or those which can vary in severity. It's usually used associated with an increase in symptoms and triggers may be evident, such as stress, diet, medication, or perhaps environmental factors such as temperature or pollen. Make sure you learn associated vocabulary. For example, this most recent flare up came out of the blue. Poor sleep tends to set off flare ups of anxiety. I haven't noticed any obvious triggers. Out of the blue, meaning suddenly. Set off, meaning cause. And triggers, being the cause of the flare up. Keep a record of synonyms, such as these. So how is flare up used in the OET exam? It can be used anywhere in the exam, but you're most likely to find it in listening A, a patient, or the healthcare professional might use it, or it could be in the notes. Listening B, the phrase may be used in this part when discussing or presenting a case. Reading A, it could appear in both the texts or questions if it relates to the topic. Speaking, you might see it on the roll card or it might be used by the patient or carer during the role play. And writing, it may appear in the case notes under medical history. Top tips for flare up. Practice using it in different contexts. Practice the pronunciation. And notice how it's used in audios and texts during your self-study. Now your turn. I'd like you to write a sentence using flare up. You can use a noun or verb form of it. Let me know in the comments below. We'll see how you do. Don't forget to check out our website if you're preparing for your OET. We've got lots of courses. We have one month and three month subscriptions and one to one online tuition. So do check us out. Remember to like and share with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Can I go from hello? 
Let's see how you do. Oh, that was really weird. Do. <laughs> okay, that's okay. I would like you to write a sentence using flare up as a noun or a verb. <laughs> Woohoo! Done!